of the entire earth and on various cities there are tree icons and you could click on these icons and in Berlin um, Hans is there with his uh, standing next to his I don't know probably apple tree in Fresno California Jeff is there with his peach tree um, and we'd like to leave a tree here with somebody that can actually take care of a tree for maybe decades and send photos of yourself standing next to the tree every couple years or so so that we can watch you get older we can watch maybe you maybe you gain weight I don't know what's going to happen to you but you have to promise to take care of the tree and send us photos every couple years or so. As the tree grows taller and more powerful, and as you slowly die. So if you're ready for this, if you're, maybe you're a drunk frat guy that just wants to get all the stuff tonight. Maybe this is not your thing right now. Maybe. There'll be other stuff for you. Maybe this is not the right. You're not. Maybe you're not ready for this. But if you have a plan and you know how you can, you can take care of the tree. Then try to get the tree. If you have no plan, I'm not interested. You should stay away from the tree. Maybe you don't own property. That's okay. But if you have a plan, you can do it. Maybe you, hey, let's talk. I'm talking right now. I can't even concentrate with that. That's two rockets. So, I just want you to have a plan. I just want you to have a plan. It doesn't matter what that plan is, but I need it to be a successful plan. Maybe you're a school teacher and there's a play area and it needs a tree. Maybe you work for a powerful corporation and there's a smoking area that's by the parking lot and there's no shade there and you're, and you're gonna work at that corporation for a long time you know you're secure in your job because you're the one who kills other people at that company. that's how you stay alive or maybe it's just as simple as your grandmother is about to pass away and leave you her cottage in Pasadena. <laughs> it's a really cute, like, 1920s. It's great. I'm just sad about her death, but at least you can take this tree and have a plan. So, I want to warn you, if you make noise, I will avoid that entire section of the audience. Now that I've warned you, it's serious. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna ignore your existence. Um, and so I'm gonna ask a simple question, a really basic question. If you think you know the answer to the question, raise your hand. And if you think you could take care of the tree for maybe 20 years or so, raise your hand. If, uh, but wait till I ask the question. And I'm serious, if you, if you even shout out the correct answer, I will avoid you. So just like first grade, first grade. Remember first grade? Kind of traumatic. Kind of, there was some pruning that happened in first grade. I'm just gonna ask you, what kind of tree is this? So all that FICA stuff, you guys just ruled out everybody in that whole section. Like, yeah, it's ficus, ficus. Art's not getting the tree. I don't know why everybody thinks every tree is a ficus tree. Yes, sir. It looks like a ficus tree. It is an apple. Get up here. You got it. Why does everybody think every tree? You just like the mouthfeel of the word ficus. Feels good to say ficus. This is a this is an old an old kind of apple tree. It's a Pippin apple tree. Big round.
round of applause for Danny. Wait, wait, wait. Come back here, Danny. No. Fuck no. Put it down. It's not yours yet. It's not that easy, Danny. Do you promise in front of all these witnesses, almost like a legally binding contract, you promise to get this into the ground within one month and send a photograph to our website so that all these neighbors of yours can see what's going on with the tree and you. Did you see him say yes? I shake my hand. Okay. Who knows it's serious? Now, Danny, one more thing. We're all getting older. We're all maybe, who knows, like cancer or crazy stuff, right? Do you promise no matter what happens to your body that you will... Even if you don't live at that place anymore, you're gonna go and take a picture of yourself standing next to the tree every, like at least every five years. Send a photograph to us so we can watch it. Did you see him say, yeah? Danny, take the tree. It's yours. Big round of applause for Danny. Who just took off with one of my favorite kinds of apple trees. It's a Pippin. It's from, it's from England. No, but there's a dark side to this, isn't there? Sometimes people take the tree, they take the, the tree, they make the promise, and they disappear into the darkness. <laughs> it happened in London, England. There was a woman who seemed like a pretty nice person. She took the tree, she promised everybody that she would follow through. We never heard from her again. <laughs> Hopefully it was like a car accident or something. <laughs> because betrayal is the worst thing. Yeah, and also like this guy yelled, look what happened with Brexit. Right? So maybe we won't go to that country anymore. I don't care. It doesn't bother me to skip an entire country because of one person. <laughs> Things are different now. The world is different. <laughs>